Hi everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if it's your first time here. Today I'm going to show you how to randomly assign names to groups. So this has a ton of applications or uses. You could assign players to teams, uh, members to groups and even create groups for uh, allocation of people to wedding tables. So this formula I'm going to show you uh, will randomly assign a given number of people to each of the buckets. So that's groups or tables or whatever you want to call them with a click of the mouse. And I think this is really useful once it's set up to reuse again and again. What I'm going to do is work through two examples. One is going to randomly assign names to groups like sports groups. And the other is I'm going to show you how to randomly assign 100 people to 10 tables of 10. So let's get started. So we're going to use a few functions this is in this video, but I believe it's really straightforward and should make sense. So let's jump right in and get those people assigned to their groups. So I've got a list of 12 people here, our player names, and I want to assign them to, so I want to assign them into groups of three. So that means I've got four teams available and my teams are A, B, C and D. That's a straightforward enough scenario. So the first part of the formula, we're going to, we're going to use the choose function. This is a great little logical function in Excel and choose returns a value from a list where you give it a position or index within the list. That'll become a bit clearer later on. What we also want to do is randomly choose between our groups of one, two, three or four. So what you would probably normally do is you'd say, OK, well, choose uh, random between or rand between. We've got one and we have four and then close the brackets. So that is our index number, is the random number between one and four. And those numbers are going to be allocated to A, B, C, and, and D. D, let's close the brackets. That looks okay so far. Let's drag that formula down. And what we can see is, if you remember, we had three, we have four groups and we want three people in each group. So this is given our allocation of teams, but it's not taken into account that we want three people equally amongst the four teams. So this is where we, we replace the rand between with the rand function. Let's just create some random numbers. And we do that using the rand function. It's a bit like the today function. You just, there's no arguments for it. It's just rand. And there, if we can just drag that to the bottom, this gives us random numbers that we can use in the indexing. So let's just start again. Again, we're gonna use the choose function because we need to choose that index number. Then we're gonna bring in the rank function and we're going to use this number and the reference will be all of these because these are our unique random numbers. Let's make that absolute because we're going to be dragging the formula down. Now I want to divide this number by three because we're looking at groups of four groups and three in each group. We're going to add in another function here as well. So what I want to do is uh, we end up enter the roundup function as well to avoid any errors with the division as we're dealing with some decimals in the rand function and I'm going to round to zero digits which should be fine. So this now gives us our index number the choose function and then again I can finish off with our values of our groups. Let's drag that down and we can see that three in A, three in B, three in C, and three in D, which is exactly what we wanted. Our four groups with three people in each. Here's another example where we can use this. It's but just on a slightly larger scale. So we know we need to enter the randomizer. is enter the rand function to generate our random numbers. And that's gonna go right down to 100. I've got 100 guests for this wedding plan. 
let's start again with the choose choose function and we're going to straight away use roundup and rank and our number will be this and right down to our last number let's mix that absolute divided by 10 and we're rounding up to the number of digits is zero now we have our index number set what we can do is we just need to type in our tables So we've got our index number. So I have my first entry. Kitty's going on to table eight. Let's just double click and see what. Let's just check a few of them. So let's count if the range is equal to that. There we go, 10. We've got 10 on table one and 10 all the way. So, so Excel's correctly assign 10 people to 10 using our random numbers. So that's how to randomly assign names to groups, teams, tables, conference tables. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. I leave a link to the workbook that I've used in the description box below. Feel free to use it and adjust it for your own needs. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Consider subscribing so you'll be notified when I up upload another Excel video. Thanks for watching.